Thanks, Senator Sullivan. Uh, you may have just opened an area for another yeah. hearing. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've, I have strong national security concerns about how Facebook operates today. Well, Mr. Chairman, maybe we should, right? I mean, it's a I'm, I'm issue. not being at all facetious. Uh, thank you for your questions on this yeah. topic. And I know you have a busy schedule, but we may want to discuss this issue with you, members of our committee, uh, at least informally. And okay. if you'd be willing to come back for another hearing, that uh, certainly is within the realm of possibility. I haven't consulted the ranking member but uh, or the chair woman, but uh, thank you for your honesty and your candor on that topic. Uh, Senator Scott. Thank you, Chairman. Um, first off, thanks for coming forward, and thanks for coming forward in a manner that you want to have, a, have positive change. So that's not always what, what happens. Earlier this, earlier this year, I sent a letter to Facebook and other social media platforms asking them to detail the harmful impacts and effects on mental health their platforms have on uh, children and teens. So your reports reveal that Facebook has been clearly fully aware of this uh, for a while um, and the harmful impacts, especially on young women. So I think we all agree that's completely unacceptable. And we've got to figure out how we protect the people that are vulnerable in this country from the harmful impacts of Facebook and other social media platforms. So first off, do you think there should be um, uh, greater consideration for age when it comes to using any social media? I strongly encourage raising age limits to 16 or 18 years old based on um, looking at the data around um, problematic use or addiction on the platform and uh, children's self-regulation issues. So, so I think you addressed this a little bit, but why do you think uh, Facebook didn't address this publicly when they, they figured it out internally that they were having an adverse impact on young, young people, especially young women? Why didn't they come forward and say, I've got a, we've got a problem, we've got to figure this out? I, I have a huge amount of empathy for, for Facebook. These are really, really hard questions. Mm -hmm. um, and part of why I was saying, I, th I think they feel a little, a little trapped and isolated is the problems that are driving uh, negative social comparison on Instagram. Facebook's own research says Instagram is actually distinctly worse than say TikTok or Snapchat or, or Reddit um, because Instagram, TikTok is about doing fun things with your friends Snapchat is about faces and augmented reality. Uh, Reddit is vaguely about ideas, um, but Instagram is about bodies and about comparing lifestyles. And so I think there are real questions where like Instagram would have to come in and think hard about their product or about like what is their product about. And I, th I don't think those answers are immediately obvious, but that's why I believe we need to solve problems together and not alone because collaborating with the public will give us better solutions. So do you think Facebook was trying to, trying to mitigate the problem? I think within the set of incentives that they were working within, they did the best they could. Unfortunately, those incentives are not sustainable and they are not acceptable uh, in, in, in our society. Do you think Facebook and other social media platforms ought to be able be required to report any harmful effects they have on young people? Uh, one of the things that I found uh, very interesting after the report in the Wall Street Journal on teen mental health was that uh, a, a, a former executive at the company said, Facebook needs to be able to have private research. And the part that I was offended by this was, Facebook has had some of this research on the negative effects of Instagram on teenagers for years. I strongly support the idea that Facebook should have a year, maybe 18 months, to have private research. But given that they are the only people in the world who can do this kind of research, that the public never gets to do it, they shouldn't be allowed to keep secrets when people's lives are on the line. So be it, because, you, because to be clear, if they make $40 billion a year, they have the resources to solve these problems. They're choosing not to solve them. Yeah. Didn't that surprise you? They wouldn't put more effort into this? I know. Because yeah. you know it's going to catch up with them eventually, right? Yeah. I, I mean, uh, why wouldn't like, you? I, like I mentioned earlier to, to Senator Hickenlooper, right, coming in and having oversight might actually make Facebook a more profitable company five or 10 years from now. Right. Because toxicity, Facebook's own research shows uh, they have something called an integrity holdout. These are people who don't get protections from integrity systems to see what happens to them. Right. And those people who deal with a more toxic, painful version of Facebook use Facebook less. And so one could, could, ra could reason a kinder, friendlier, more collaborative Facebook might actually have more users five years from now. So it's in, in everyone's interest. Do you think, I've, I've got a bill and there's a lot of bills that I think we've all talked about, but mine is called the Data Act. It's gonna require express consent from users for large platforms to use algorithms on somebody. You agree with that? I mean, I mean what, shouldn't we consent 
before they get to take our, our, our everything about us and go sell it? Uh, like how they send things to us? Mm, for for um, selling personal data, that, uh, that is an issue that I believe people should have substantially more control over. Um, uh, most people are not well informed on what the cost, the cost, personal costs of having their data sold are. And so I worry about um, pushing that choice back on individual consumers. Um, in terms of should people consent to working with algorithms, um, I worry that if Facebook is allowed to uh, give users the choice of do you want a, a, an, an engagement-based newsfeed or do you want a chronological newsfeed, like ordered by time, maybe a little spam demotion, that people will choose the more addictive option, that engagement-based ranking, even if it is leading their, their, their daughters to eating disorders. All right. Thank you.